Do you think his dementia was convenient? Whose? Reagan's. I always wonder if he was doing like a Jimmy the Chin type thing. No. I, look, Reagan. Do you like? Here's what, Jimmy Tingle, who's an yeah. am- amazing comedian. Yeah. He had this great bit way back in 1988. Okay. When uh, when Reagan was in trouble for selling weapons to Iran. Oh, right. And he yeah. said, uh, "I can't recall." Yeah. And he goes, no. "Do me a favor, Mr. President. If you ever selling arms to people who hate us, jot it down." It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. It was like he goes, make a note, put it on your refrigerator. Yeah, that's I never, I literally never even thought of that. That I would do that. Yeah, he said he couldn't remember anything. That's a good move. That is a good move. Who could tell you whether or not you can remember things? You could play dumb. Yeah, that's what Jimmy the Chin did. I don't remember. uh, Do you know that story? No. Jimmy the Chin Gigante was a mob leader. Yeah, and he would walk around with a bathrobe and slippers and just mumble to himself. Yes, and he would walk down the street with his capos. Yeah, yeah. And the FBI knew this, and so what they did was they put uh, these little microphones yeah. on all the hubcaps so that they could record his conversation as he walked down the street. So, so as he's walking down the street, they were recording everything. Wow. I love like I that. I love shit like that. Like when Israel intercepts the pagers oh. of Hezbollah and blows everybody's balls off. That is... Look, it's terrible that those people died, but it seems like they weren't good people. But at the bottom line is, you know how genius that is? To, to, to stop the actual shipment. From, yeah. To, oh, sorry, to figure out that they use this type of analog uh-huh. pager, stop the shipment, put and then get them to all blow and up at the wait same time. Months, wait, wait, wait. Months, wait yeah, months yeah, yeah, yeah. and make sure that no one's on an airplane. <clears throat> no There's an amazing the- book called Rise Up and Kill First. I've read that. Yeah, it's a great book. It's about this. It's yes. about like we yes. can't win a war, so we're going to assassinate our way to safety. Yeah, yeah. It's all about Israel. Yeah. It's, and, it's and, crazy. And, and using political assassinations. Yes. Fantastic. It's crazy. When you find out they're doing that, like, God damn. Well, you know how goddamn genius that is? And you, imagine being them and realizing like this is how deeply Israel's infested in, your in, organization. In our, Ooh, yeah. That's got to be terrifying. Well, just recently they got uh, the head of um, uh, Hezbollah. And then the second head, and then the third head, within like three or four days of each other. And then they're trying to get new guys, and they're like, eh, eh, yeah, I don't I'm want not, that gig. I'm, I am yeah. not. I don't want that gig. It's the whole thing is it's very very fascinating. Well, it's they're fascinating. the people that invented Pegasus. Yeah, you know, they invented that uh, the ability to just they now You're apparently your with phone. Pegasus too. All they have to have is your phone number. Yeah, and they're in. That's true. I have. A, I, I actually talked to one of the guys who owned that company. If you want the hack for Pegasus, I don't know if it still is. Turn your phone off repeatedly, and then because. Every time you turn your phone off, they have to re-put the Pegasus in. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know it if I buy that. Well, that's that was from the dude. I, I would tell that to people just <laughs> yeah. like an idiot shut his phone off. No, I got it from the again. owner. It's true. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're never off. The phone's Meanwhile, actually like, we, never off. Yeah, exactly. That's how you could use find your phone. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, I'm sure there's probably some hacks.